to knock only sesh God dry Alawa Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Feeling how we feeling? No. You vibing up? You driving up my noggin? You KTC? MHOE? I know you dripping in that ma'am song. You building a fence, my noggin? For Joy World, my noggin? You tapping in? Got that water flowing. And you know we keep the fire burning. Allow wow. To knock on the sessions, let's get it. Deuteronomy 27. I know you're reeling up. I know you're feeling good. I know we're getting our ammo, our ammo back, our weapon back. We on our Shabbat. Man, it feel good to have a checkpoint. Man, it feel good to have a Shabbat with you, my night. Cause I can't, I can't hold it down with no one else but you, Drop Nation. We are one hundred percent Drop Nation, cause we got to drop. We are one hundred percent Nagavid, cause we are the Negus. We are. The king of kings and the queen of queens. Shout out to my aqua. And shout out to my ox. We are 100% Shikamagwa. Because we didn't di- do no deals. We didn't make no treaties. These are the Cherokee that went down swinging. No deals. Shikamagwa. That's you, my naga. That's us, my naga. That's Drop Nation. Ahab Dragon Child, my Naga, designed the Nagaville flag. And, you know, we're, we're, we're still in progress. You know, we're still in process. I still want Yosef to real to put some dragons, you know what I'm saying, on that, uh, you know, this the one that we got with just the towel. It's a simple towel, but... That simple town should have a few dragons on there. My, my naga yourself. We need to pot that off, man. But Ahab, my naga, dragon, child. My naga designed a full flow for the nagas to meditate to. We see it all when we look at the Nagaville flag, the coat of arms. Go hit up our IG. I'm still in YT. They got me in YouTube jail. I can't access my channel for a little bit. They got a Naga band <laughs> for dropping that real spill. Shout out to Yohanna to Hebrew Prince. Man, I, I don't know what I was thinking, Yohanna. I, I know it's that real spill. I don't know what I was thinking. And doctors was chopping off the head bones of these liars, man. Hijack City was getting chopped up. So they got me banned, man. But, you know, it's all good because we're going to pop straight out of 432thedrop.com. Just like we said we was going to do. A-Hop to the IG Naga. <laughs> my Naga. Uh, IT Naga. I mean, my, my IT Naga. You know, making it happen for us, man. So our website is tip top, revised, up to date, beautiful, flowing, and just, you know what I'm saying? Drop shop is, is beautiful. You know, all that's going to be connected, man. So all my Nagas that got the indigenous project products, man, all my all my aquas popping off, my ox, you know, all your businesses. We want to make sure we got them in a brand new, the new, new. I mean, the drop shop is going to be coming in hot. You know, it's beautiful, man. It's a beautiful thing. My, my naga, let's fall back, man. It's a Shabbat. Let's rest our mind bones. Wow.
It just feels good to be Drop Nation, you know. KTC. Keep the code. That simple. Hit the easy button, you know what I mean? Do it around me 27. Wow. And Moshe and the elders of Israel commanded the people, saying, Keep all the commandment which I command you this day. And it shall be on the day when you shall pass over the Jordan unto the land which Hawah your power gives you. That's why we pop off for Nagaville, because the Nagas got to have a land of our very own. You can't hijack your way through any means, genealogies, extracurricular activities. I don't care what you're doing to try to get on Nagaville land. This is our earth plane. We have to allow you to rock. The Preston got to allow you to rock. You in the kingdom, Khan. You in Hawaii's kingdom. Don't get it twisted. We here to establish law around this piece. Shout out to Dragon Child. Because that Nagaville flag lets you know what it is, man. Go ahead and check the IG. We break it down, man. Hey, hot to the bro. Why I said you got your own land. Why I ain't saying you got to share your land. Why I said it's your land. Your mama gave you some new toys. You know what I'm saying? Those are yours. Now, she teach you how to share. But we don't have to share if you ain't coming correct. That's a big difference. You're like, oh, I'm a genealogy my way. Tap dance into Nagaville. We go tap dance into... No, you ain't go tap dance into Nagaville, my Naga. This is Nagaville. The land of the Preston. The land of the Sheba. Shibala. Sibola, Sibola, Sibola. Promised land. Cat day. This the east, not the west, my nut. Better get it, you know, oriented. But why I said, I'm gonna give you your land, and it shall be on that day when you shall pass over the Jordan unto the land which Hawah, your power, gives you. Your Amma, your Abba gives this to you. You ain't gotta chase nobody else's thing. Nobody else's customs, nobody else's flow. Once you figure out that they didn't bring no millions of Nagas over here from Africa, once you figure out that they, they just found you here, my Naga, they can't give you your history. They can't tell you nothing about yourself. If they can't tell us who we are, how can they tell us who we're not, my Naga? Man, just meditate on that. Because we just surf the way. Your land is Nagaville. The Naga is the Dragon. The Dragon is the fire, the water, the ether, all the elements. The earth is yours. There ain't no image of a Naga. You the fire, you the water, you the ether, you the earth. That's why we talk about no idol worship, no images. The image of a dragon is not really the true image of a dragon. A true dragon has no image. It could be fire, water, ether, earth. It could be the mountains. It could be the air, the frost. It could be the mist. It could be that wind that just flew by you. That's the dragon. Any atmospheric phenomenon, my noggin. Allow Say no play play, man. We build in Nagaville. This is our take. <laughs> you uh, rock with your take or you go ahead and take the wheel, my Naga. But either way, it's going to be real spill. And even if they ban us, they ban the real spill. You know where, where we keep it real right here at home. 432 to drop radio. You did. Shabbat Shalom. You didn't come here for no information. Came here for the vibration. Wow.
Allah gives you the land that you shall set thee up great stones and plaster them with plaster and thou shalt write upon them all the words of this law. When thou art passed over, that thou may, mayest go in unto the land which a while your power gives you, a land flowing with milk and honey, that's pearls and gold, that's America, that's what they found here. California gold rush and on and on. Haiti, Peru, Mexico, a land flowing with milk and honey, Kalelu, how we cool, promised land, we already home, get oriented, my naga, as to why your power of your fathers has promised you, this is a promise, a land flowing with milk and honey, pearls and gold. They found all you copper colored nagas in pearls and gold. <laughs> You're confused about who you are? No, you didn't keep the code. Really, you didn't keep rule number one. And that led to everything else. Not keeping rule number one led into the vanity using Hawaii's name in vain you you know just destroying your Shabbat completely you know mutilating your Shabbat you know what I'm saying now now Saturday's you know Saturn day right now now Saturday's uh, the busiest day of the week right now it's the pop offness of Saturday you know we pop off after Shabbat but we close our gates when the sun exhausts his energy After that sixth day, the sun exhausts his energy. That's the beginning of a new cycle, a new flow, brand new energy, brand new day, a brand new yam, a brand new occurrence. It's a whole new thing after the sun exhausts his energy where you at, right? So that's the cycle. That's the flow. You eat the rub. You eat the walk. You got to put on your ether boots. Eat the walk across the sky, sky, love the five eyes, my tribe of music, letting you know we eat the walking man. And the land flowing with milk and honey as Hawa, the power of your fathers has promised you, and it shall be when you are passed over the Jordan that you shall set up these stones. Are we talking about some random stones, or are we talking about the amethyst? The lapis lazuli, the the sapphire, the emerald, the ruby. I mean, the quartz, the onyx, the obsidian. What are we talking about? The crystal James, no. Natural, no. Which I command you this day in Mount Ebal, and that shall plaster them with plaster, and there shall Thou build an altar unto Hawa, an altar of stones. Thou shalt lift no iron tool upon them. Don't touch them crystals, man. Don't touch them stones. With no iron tool. Don't be disrespectful. Thou shalt build the altar of Hawa, your power of unhewn stones. You ain't messing them up with no iron tool. And thou shalt offer burnt offerings thereon unto Hawa, your power. And thou shalt sacrifice peace offerings and shalt eat there. And thou shalt rejoice before Hawa. And thou shalt write upon the stones all the words of this law very plainly. We keep the code because it's easy. We make it simple. We make a naga hit the easy button, bread, because it's that simple to know that there's no cap on our number two pencil.
these beautiful stones, these crystal stones, all the words of Hawa, all the words of this law, this code, shall be written very plainly, simple. And Moshe, the priest, the Levite, spoke unto all Israel, saying, Keep silence and hear. O Israel, this day thou art become a people unto Hawah. Because before that you, you're a no people, because you're outside the code. But since these, you know, thou shalt write upon these stones all the words of this law very plainly, Managin, now Hawah can see you. What is the etymology of a dragon? To see. To see clearly. Very plainly. And Moshe and the priest, the Levite, spoke unto all Israel, saying, Keep silence and hear, O Israel, this day you are become a people unto Hawah your power. Thou shalt therefore hearken to the voice of Hawah your power and do his commandments and his statutes. Keep the code which I command you this day. And Moshe charged the people the same day, saying, these shall stand upon Mount Gerizim to Baruch the people when you are passed over the Jordan, Simeon and Levi and Judah and Issachar and Yosef and Benjamin. And these shall stand upon Mount Ebal for the curse. Reuben, Gad, Asher, Zebulon, Dan and Naphtali. And the Levites shall speak and say unto all the men of Israel, with a loud voice. Cursed be the man that makes a graven or molten image an abomination unto Hawah, the work of the hands of the craftsmen, and set it, it up in secret, and all the people shall answer and say, Hawah! <laughs> Cursed be he that dishonors his father or mother, and all the people shall say, Hawah! Cursed be he that removes his neighbor's landmark. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, boss. It's a more and more, it's a more and more war for this landmark business. Longitude and latitude, treaties of pieces and friendship around here. Hijack city. Thou shalt not steal, right? Man. Thou shalt not covet, con. Thou shalt not bear false witness, con. Oh, you can't get out of it now. All the people shall say, oh, wow. verse 18. Cursed be he that makes the blind to go astray in the way. Which way you want to face? With Zion, do you want to face? Because if Nagas get their passports, they better get their uh, tenderoni shot. Because they're going to need it to get on that plane with their passport. Is that Hawa's way or is that using Hawa's name in vain? Is that Hawa's name or is that he that makes the blind go astray in the way? The way is the KTC. No power before our power. And all the people shall say, Hawa, cursed be he that perverts the justice due to the stranger, fatherless and widow. And all the people shall say, Hawa. Cursed be he that lieth with his father's wife. Whoa. <laughs> you know, first you think about the mother. You're like, well, ain't that with your own mother? Obviously. Then back then they had multiple wives and they were off limits from all these sons, right? So cursed be he. You ain't your brother's keeper because ain't that part of the code? You know what I'm saying? Not to be with your brother's you know, uh, aqua, right? These are rules of conduct so brothers don't have to kill each other. Because you break any of these, it's killing beef, man. You know what it was to pervert the Shabbat? You dead on spot. You dead on sight. No power for your power? You dead on sight. You told somebody to do something in Hawa's name that was wrong? You dead on sight. You know what it is. Oh, what? You a false witness? 
Oh, you already know. That covetous, all that stuff leads to death. So our code brings us as a community, as a tribe, back to life. No matter what you think about the Bible and the script and the translations, this works. These are babies that aren't taught into our neighborhoods, our ghettos, our projects. They don't teach us this. They don't walk in our neighborhood. Jehovah Witness don't tell us this. <laughs> These hijacks don't come here t teaching us about the Shabbat. How to rest in solidarity on their busiest shopping day of the week. We don't spend no money. Managa, that's unity. That's economic empowerment. That's weaponizing our economy. Because we're the most boostful economic nagas of all time. Our people spend more money than anybody, man. Save less, right? Spend more. But if we stop spending on the Shabbat, regardless of what you think it is on what solar cycle, moon cycle, just look at the busiest day of the week and boycott it. And allow that to be your Shabbat. <laughs> we take our rest Friday sundown, Saturday sundown, and we hit them where it hurts. We don't spend nothing as a community, as a tribe. Yeah. Now that's a battle plan, and we get battle time. And all the people shall say, Hawah, and cursed be he that lies with his mother in law. <laughs> and all the people shall say, Hawah, and cursed be he that smites his neighbor in secret. Uh oh. Cursed be he that smites his neighbor in secret. And all the people shall say, Hawah. And cursed be he that takes a bribe to slay an innocent person. All the people shall say, Hawah! Cursed be he that confirms not the words of this law to do them. That confirmeth not the words of the code. Cursed be he that don't keep the code. And all the people shall say, Hawah! Cursed be he that confirmeth not the words of this law to do them. Hawah ain't playing around. This ain't no play play. Let's take it to Deuteronomy 34. Allah Hawah. And Moses went up from the plains of Moab. Unto Mount Nebo. To the top of Pisgah. That is over against Jericho. We already home. All these places we're naming are right here near the four corners, man. They weren't renamed. This is the ancient world. It's hard to believe it in the spell you're in. Because we've been in the Ruach Tarde Ma. We've been put to sleep. The coldest thing to do to people when they sleep is spin them around, <laughs> put them on a ball, tell them to spin it around on the ball at a thousand miles per hour. Tell them the east is west. Tell them the north is south when the south is really north and the west is really east. And you think you're from somewhere else. You are now a stranger. You're a stranger on your own land. You got some other people claiming to be Native Americans. You got some other people claiming to be original, indigenous, autochthonous. The first. But they know in their heart that's a lie. They know in their heart you didn't come from no Africa. If they want to maintain that lie, then they're going to get washed up in the water of Hawaii. But you got to tell the truth to yourself. When you read this, Moab, Pisgah, Jericho, put all that in your Google Maps and see where it takes you right into Utah. Y-U-D-A-H.
The Spanish spelled it Y-U-T-A. But it's just Utah is Judah. Judea. Which is right here in the Four Corners. Right here in Kalelus. Right here in America. The Promised Land. The land of milk and honey. Pearls of gold. And Moses went up from the plains of Moab, Utah, unto Mount Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, that is over against Jericho. And Hawah showed him all the land, even Gilead, as far as Dan, and all of Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim, and Manasseh. And all the land of Utah, 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 as far as the Hinder Sea, and the south, and the plain, even the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees. You know, we the land of palm trees. Florida, Cali. As far as Zoor. And Hawa said unto him, This is the land which I swore unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, Jacob, saying, I will give it unto your seed. I have caused you to see it with your eyes, but thou shalt not go over there. So Moses, the servant of Hawa, died there in the land of Moab, Udal. Y'all think Moses is over there chilling still in Moab near Mount Nebo in Utah? Go look it up on your Google map. Utah, Mount Nebo, Utah, Moab, Utah, Gilead. All this is going to pop up. Utah, Pisgah, P-I-S-G-A-H. We did it years ago. Ephraim, Utah. It's all right there to this day. But you ain't looking because you in a Ruach Tarde Ma. You want to face Zion to the east. Well, Naga, you in the east. Welcome home. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> this is not the conscious community. This is the awareness community. 432, we spiral nine up. Exodus 20. Got us in code. Deuteronomy 34 is letting you know. The land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah, as far as the Hinder Sea and the south and the plain, even the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees, as far as Zaor. And Hawa said unto him, This is the land which I swore unto Abraham, unto Isaac, unto Jacob saying, I will give it unto your seed, your bonds, your ba'at. I have caused you to see it with your eyes, but you can't go over there, Boshe. You got to fall back right here. Let Joshua take the wheel. We say choose your Joshua because in the New Testament, you got a new Joshua, Yeshua, Yahweh, but he ain't your Joshua. He ain't the Joshua. He ain't the Kitsukawad who led his people to the promised land. This is the real Joshua who rocked directly with Moshe that they duplicated into the New Test as some prophet. Jesus, nah. That Joshua is not this Joshua. That Joshua never went to war for you. This Joshua has fought hijack after hijack, giants, Moab and them, <laughs> you know, all the confederacy. This Joshua puts you right in your spot, in your mark, my naga. There's no comparison between this Joshua and their fake Joshua in the New Test, Yeshua, Jesus. No, not that Zeus, not that over there. This Joshua made the sun stand still and the moon stand still while he fought, my noggin, for you. This Joshua made the waterfall stand still 
parted the waters for the tribe to cross on dry land. There is no comparison between this Magi. Oh, that Joshua uh, is walking on water and turning water to wine. Damn, damn, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Ain't that something? This Joshua made the sun stand still. And I ask you, how can you be spinning on a ball? <laughs> and Joshua has to make the sun stand still. Got him. Joshua can't make the sun stand still if he's spinning on a ball. <laughs> Traveling at 67,000 miles per hour like NASA say, spinning at 1,000 miles per hour. How can he make the sun stand still? He's spinning. <laughs> But if he's firm, fixed, and immovable, if he is not moving whatsoever and the sun is doing a circuit around Joshua, Joshua, Joshua could say, hold up. I need more light for this fight. I got to finish it off. The sun can say, whoa, how can you command me, man? I mean, wasn't I created before you? And Joshua can look right at the sun and say anything that was created be before me <laughs> all praise Hawaii was created for me you are created for me Mr. Sun Tomas <laughs> Tomas is what they call him and Tomas has, has to say alright man you, you're right I was created for you I'm gonna I'm fall back I just had to inquire Forgive, forgive my lateness. I'm going to fall back <laughs> and let Joshua finish the fight. This is what the real Magi did. This is real magic, Nanaga. Not water to wine. <laughs> Walking on water. I'm saying parting the waters. Holding the waterfalls back so the tribe can cross safely on dry land. Now, you say, how did Joshua get such magic, such power? Well, there's many theories about this Joshua. Was he truly the son of Miriam? Like Jesus and Mary, but Joshua and Miriam. Miriam is Moses' sister, which would make Joshua Moses' nephew. Uncle Moses, what he called him. This will make what you're about to hear make perfect sense. That they duplicated this Joshua into the new test. Hijack City couldn't be creative, still made a Miriam, a duplicate Miriam, a duplicate Mary. Just like Miriam in the Tanakh, right? Joshua, the son of Mary, son of Miriam, nephew of Moshe well then who's his pops <laughs> oh boy the investigation continues let's get this for the dismount my noggins we're enjoying the vibration surfing the wave as we do in Drop Nation and Tanakh only sessions So we're reading this like we're already here. All these place names, imagine it being right here in America, right? Imagine America being the ancient world that all this is taking place that has been reshaped, you know, Tartaria and all this other stuff. Over and over again, rebuilt, rebuilt, rebuilt to a point where it just doesn't even look familiar anymore. The waters are different. They put the dams up. All these damn dams, we don't see the water flow, everything, the whole place looks different. You're a stranger in your own land, huh? So Moshe, you know, has to pass pass the mic, right? He, he has to let Joshua take the wheel for whatever reason. And that's still a mystery what Moshe really did or didn't do. Or, this is still a mystery, right? But we're just reading it, you know, with a dragonfly perspective. Now, who does Moshe pass this will to, right? So, verse 5, Deuteronomy 34. So, Moses, the servant of Hawa, died there in the land of Moab 
according to the word of Hawah. And he was buried in the valley of the land of Moab over against Beth Peor. And no man, Managa, listen up, no man knows of his septure unto this day. Now, what's a septure, man? Let's, let's, you know, see what the definition is looking like. I wonder if they had that word around in 1828. I'm going to pull it up for Managas. 1828 Webster Dictionary. They have the aqua tie battle. I can't ever pull this dictionary up without thinking about aqua tie looking up these definitions, man. Allow <laughs> why we battle up. We in battle time. All right, so Sepcher, they have sepulcher. They spell it S-E-P-U-L-C-H-E-R. The definition, they say, is to bury, which seems to be formed with the prefix on goth, a grave, a tomb, all right, the place in which a dead body of a human is entered or interred or a place destined for that purpose. God, so where's Moses buried? It says, no man, no man knows of his place of burial unto this day. So we know basically where it could be, either Mount Nebo on that side of the map <laughs> or Mount Nebo right here near Utah, Utah, Judah, Arizona, and somewhere around this Mount Nebo, which also exists right here in Utah, Arizona area. Is Moses right here in Arizona, Utah? <laughs> but hidden in a place where no man would know, like maybe it's in a different frequency, you know. And Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye was not dim. Now, this is the confusing part to a lot of people. Like, what does it mean? You know what I mean? What does it mean if his eye is not dim? How do you die and your eye is not dim? We got to keep asking this. You can't go over this enough. There's so many meanings and, you know, layers, you know, to your so-called awakening, but really awareness. Like, there's so many layers. Like, we keep going back to the movie Inception. They had to wake up on many levels. You know, I just woke up again. I just popped off again when they just banned me off of YouTube just to get, you know, right back in my course correction into 432, make sure we are building up our own place and then, really living there you know i gotta live there i gotta live in 432 <laughs> at 432 to you know i gotta i gotta live there i can't give you two no no more of my energy man you know we gotta build up our home everywhere nagaville in real time build our fence tap our well get everything popping get our shelters up for the naga and keep doing it <laughs> rinse repeat rinse repeat you know what i'm saying just keep doing it keep buying land keep building it having a tribe build it up you know with their own hands with their own resources you know what i'm saying like this is a formula all praise the why so where's moshe what does it mean that his eye is not dim he was 120 when he died his eye was not dim nor his natural force abated what does it mean to be abated Let's go back in that dictionary, man. Abated, A-B-A. -A. All right, let's see. You know, job can't spell, man. A-B-A-T-E-D. Okay, all right. I was close. I was close. <laughs> Does it mean to be abated? Oh, it says lessened lessened like to be less more or less right lessened decreased destroyed mitigated defeated remitted or overthrown wow what a what a definition right to the point right right to the gut bone right lessened decreased destroyed mitigated defeated remitted or overthrown my knock And no man knows of his septure. 
Sapulch. Sapulch. No one knows if it's Sapulch or his place of death or burial. Unto this day, and Moshe was 120 years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated, or his natural force was never lessened. How can you die when your natural force is never lessened, my daughter? Decreased. How can you die when your natural force is not decreased? You still got 100% pop offness? So you must be more like in a, in a sleep. Like a hibernation or some type of thing, you know. We read about like a dragon form of hibernation. They called it certain things where dragons, you know, they just go to sleep for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like a hibernation, but they're fully alive, you know. And this is something that Ama loves doing with her sons and daughters, you know, that really please her. You know what I'm saying? She, she does this. You know what I'm saying? She keeps them flowing. She keeps their life force from lessening because she loves their countenance. You know, mama, you know, knows that you're more than your body, but sometimes mama really loves you the way you are, even in your that that form of body. And she wants to preserve that. She wants to remember you, you know, and, and all the checkpoints you're hitting. Kind of like any mama and Abba, you know, who want to take pictures all the time. They want to remember their child even if they know you're 15 but that five-year-old picture they remember like it was yesterday and mama sees you hitting these checkpoints and all, all your cycles your flow and she's like you know i really like you in that body man you you really learned a lot i'm going to preserve it i'm going to make sure it's never lessened i'm going to make sure it's never decreased i'm going to make sure it's never destroyed that's why no man no man knows of his sepulcher, right? No one knows where his burial tomb is. No man. But wherever Moses is in Utah, <laughs> Arizona, his life force, his natural force was never lessened, decreased, or destroyed. Mitigated, defeated, remitted, or overthrown, my noggin. Moses is still alive. Kandawi still lives. Priest, <laughs> Priest King Prester John still lives. Uh-oh. Hawa. Allah Hawa. <laughs> Let's go. So his eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated, and the children of Israel wept for Moshe in the plains of Moab thirty days. So the days of weeping in the morning for Moshe were ended, and Joshua, Hawashua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom. For Moshe had laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him, listened to him, as did and did as Hawa commanded Moshe. So how did Joshua get the glow? How did Joshua get the flow? And even if Moshe didn't personally lead the children into the promised land, his Ruach still was there. His Ruach was with Joshua. He laid his hands upon him. He, he he gave him that whoa, you know what I mean? <laughs> it says Joshua was full of Hawashua, was full of that ruach of Ama, wisdom. So Mama, you know what I'm saying, just transferred her flow. You know, Joshua always had it, but now Joshua got that whoa. Oh, Full of the Ruach of Amma. All Moshe had to do was lay his hands on him. This is what the preachers try to do, right? But they ain't got that fullness of the Ruach of Amma. Mama said, you find me, you find life. Mama said, power is mine. I am understanding. 
Mama said, you ain't thinking about me. You must be thoughtless, boy. For Moshe had laid his hands upon Hawashua, and the children of Israel hearkened unto him. Everybody listened. They heard the sound, as did and did as Hawa commanded Moshe. And there has not arisen a prophet. Listen, my naga, for the dismount. Let's go. And there has not arisen a prophet since in Israel like unto Moshe, whom Hawa knew face to face, my naga. You want to face Zion? Make sure you <laughs> make sure you know that Moses' face has never been uh, lessened, diminished, mitigated, destroyed. Seek Hawa and Khan Dawi. Well, who's David? Is David Moshe? Uh oh. Chopped up in the story, chopped up in the timeline. Forgot about a priest and you forgot about a king. You forgot Moses was a king, you forgot Dawi was a priest. How convenient. Dawi is the only anointed Khan. Love to yourself to real. Moshe was king of Cush for 40 years in the book of Yashar. Put them together, and here we are. Hosea 3, Seek Hawa, and Kandawi. All titles, Dodge the Hijack. Verse 9, and Hawashua, the son of Nun, was full of the Ruach of wisdom. For Moses had laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him and did as Hawa commanded Moses. And there has not arisen a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses, whom Hawa knew face to face in all the signs and wonders which Hawa sent him to do in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh and to all his servants and to all his land and in all the mighty hand and in all the great terror which Moses wrought in the sight of all Israel. Woo, they said great terror. Moses put that fear in them boys. Why? Oh, Moses put that staff down, you did. Moses put that law down, you did. Moses put that law down. Shout out to Dragon Child, man, who designed, you know, the very first, man, Nagaville flag. And, and the con, man, had a great point about, you know, what we do in the hood and, and, and where Nagas are right now with all the game banging and stuff. And it's like, my game banging Nagas that just love the game banging, you know, understand. <laughs> like my Naga Dragon Childs, you know, was breaking down. You can game bang the code, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to game bang for Hawaii. You got to game bang the code. You got to put that law down. You got to use your resources, use your strength, and gang bang that KTC. What's the code? Hey, like I told my bro, we all got to walk through that door. We all have to do it individually. You all, we have to do it together and individually, you know. In your personal life, you got to walk through that door by yourself, you know what I'm saying? You got to get through that. You got to overcome yourself over and over again, not just one time. You don't just walk through that door once. You walk through it every day. Every minute you're making choices to, to choose up. You're walking through that door, that dog. And then together, collectively as a tribe, we're doing it together. We're building a fence. We're walking through another checkpoint. How many times have we walked through this door as a 
as a tribe? How many doors have we walked through? How many checkpoints? Every Shabbat, we tribing up. CUVs, tribing up. How many doors? How many checkpoints? It's all in the paleo, man. It's beautiful. The language of creation. Paleo Hebrew, picto. That strong power, that aleph, that L, that aleph. Enters the floor plan, right? The ba'at. Right? The house. The ba'at. Your house. Your body. Your house. Your tribe. Your house. Managa, it's all of us. The gam is the third letter, right? That's the gathering. We start to tribe up. The doll is the door you got to walk through. The fifth letter is the ha or the <gasps> the breath. When you walk through the door, Ama is there to greet you with breath. It says Joshua was full of that ruach of wisdom. He got that breath because he walked through the door. What's the sixth letter? Wow. That's the security. In the paleo, it's a tent peg. It's a tent peg. You got to use it to peg or, or you know, nail down your tent like a long nail to make sure you're founded. You got foundation, security and foundation. So we say a breath of foundation, a foundational breath, a secure breath. That's your frame and your shape, which you got to walk through the door to get your frame and shape or to get greeted by Ama and Abba. With Hawa, you can take that into your Zan, which is the seventh letter of Picto or Paleo Hebrew. So once you got your Zan, that's Zion, that's where they get Zion. It means rest. It means nourishment, food. You get the food you got to eat, First, you got to walk through the door, get greeted by your mama and then your daddy. Then you could eat. You need your breath of security before you can eat, right? Now you're on your way, right? Hosea 3. Search for Hawa and King David. Because after you eat with mama, you break bread. You could eat, right? Now you're ready for the journey for the rest of the Picto Paleo Aleph bet. Just meditate. On the paleo, meditate on it, meditate on it and see how it's flowing in your life. And that will give you a hint as to where you're at and to what's coming next and where you've been. And you keep repeating that in all your thoughts. It happens in a in a nanosecond, the picto paleo. It happens slowly, the picto paleo. You just gotta surf the way. Cause the beautiful thing is after you got your zan, right? Because first you need that strong power. Right. First, you need your strong power, your energy, your power. First, you need that. That's number one. Don't put the power for your power. And that power goes into the bot or the house or the tent. But that tent has to be secured. Right. So keep going. You got to gather up. Tribe up as a part of your security. Gathering, walking, your God, God. Into your door, your doll. You get through that portal, that vortex. You popping off with your nagas. You got your <gasps> breath and security, hawa, into your Zion, Zion, your food, your cut off day, your cut. It's also a weapon, a maddox or a, a cutting weapon to chop something in half, my naga, to let you know that after this Zion is cut off, it's cut off right here. That's your Shabbat, seventh day. Seventh letter, Zan, rest, equals seventh day. Shabbat, rest on seventh day. Shabbat, Shalom. And what's after that, my naga, for the dismount? What's after that? What's the eighth letter? The Chet. The Chet, my naga. The Chet is a division. It's a wall. It means to divide. Help us build our wall. We can't make this up, this rhythm, this routine, this flow, this is Ama. After we got our Zanza, my Naga, it's time to build for Nagavir. Not just a physical land, but building yourself, building your community, your people, building your frequency, 
tapping in, every Shabbat you get stronger. It ain't no tenderoni chasing you down. You in a whole new frequency. They can't touch us here. Don't get full of their fear. They can't touch us here. You free, my nigga. You in cold. You the head, not the tail. That's Deuteronomy 28, right? <laughs> and then what it says at the very tip top of Deuteronomy 28 for the death smile. And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. If you shall listen diligently unto the voice of Hawah to observe to do all his commandments, which I command you this day, that Hawah, your power, will set you on high above all the nations of the earth. And all this Baruch, Baruch, these blessings, this Baruch shall come upon you and overtake you, and it shall, if you will listen, man, if you will listen to the sound, the voice, of a while, that's that 432. You listening, you hear it? You KTC? Because if you do, then blessed or Baruch shall you be in the city, and blessed or Baruch shall you be in the field, and blessed or Baruch shall you be, shall be the fruit of your body, your children, your droplets, and Baruch shall be the fruit of your land, and Baruch shall be the fruit of your cattle, and the increase of your kind and the young of your flock. Baruch shall be your basket and your kneading troth. Baruch shall thou be when you come in. And Baruch shall you be when you go out. Hawa will cause your enemies that rise up against you to, re to be smitten before you. I believe this, Monaga, because I've seen, I've seen the protection in real time. That's why we don't trip. I know they're pushing this mandate. I know they're doing this. But since we're in cold, Hawa will cause our enemies that rise up against us to be smitten before us. Whether we are prepared, this, that, all the stuff we need to know, Hawa will cause our enemies that rise up against us. Israel, Yashara, Hashara, Nagaville to be smitten before us they shall come out against us one way and shall flee before us seven ways man <laughs> they shall come up against us one way and flee before us seven ways Hawa will command the Baruch with you in your barns and in all that thou puttest your hand into whatever you doing you bless whatever you doing you protect it whatever you doing you are baruch and he will baruch you in the land which hawa your power gives you hawa will establish you for a holy people unto himself and he as he has sworn unto you if you shall keep the code keep the commandments of hawa and walk in his way. To not only session. One tribe, one vibe, Ahab, all my Nagas. Ahab, all of Nagaville. The Wada Hawa, fulfilling our vessels and feeding our flock. The Wada Hawa, for the one shepherd. Leading the way, not to destruction, but to life, but to, to that mem sauce, back, you know, home to the living water, primary mem. A real shepherd, a true shepherd, brings the flock home. A false shepherd, well, you know where that goes.
How you really, my nigga? How you really, really know? The Wada to the dragons on the wall. Copper dragon, silver dragon, go. The Wada to the ether squid eye. Keeping the water flowing and the fire burning. Every day at 432 to drop. Radio 432 to drop.com. That what died to the contributors, keeping the water flowing, making sure we got our fence in order. We still got ways to go. After Shabbat, let's pop off, my night. We popping up. And, you know, much the ha, the max, the ha, the wada to all the tribe all across the plain. Hey, hop to the battles, aqua tie. We pray you're feeling good and healthy and reeling up and popping off. We need you. You know what I'm saying? We need, you know, more of that Thai battle poetry. <laughs> we need your vibration, aqua. So keep healing up and reeling up. You know what I mean? All my knock is affected by any of this, you know, weather manipulation and, you know, weaponizing. You know what I'm saying? Just let us know what you need. You know what I'm saying? This is Drop Nation. Hit, hit us up, hit me up direct, you know what I mean? Music at 432thedrop.com Music at 432thedrop.com Hit me up. Wherever you at, yeah, hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Hit us up. We here, man. We, we know it's a lot going on. We, we do this to continue our flow. Let the hijacks know we can't fade this vibration. Can't fade this frequency. You ain't got to like us, whoever you are. But the frequency is real. <laughs> the, <laughs> the hijack is real. But that's just because the indigenous truth is always on time. <laughs> and we in battle time, baby. Are we out of here, baby? Surfing the way. The Wada Drop Nation.